Hi and welcome to Miso Tarot's weekly tarot and oracle card reading. I'm Mila Horenda, your friendly tarot advisor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, first off, I want to thank all of the people that have been sharing my card of the day on Facebook and have liked the Facebook page. Uh, we are just about at the end of my contest, which is I'm going to give away two tarot teachings, the basics, which is over six hours of video <clears throat> and uh, instruction for how to read tarot for yourself so you can have valuable insight into your life. And it's a value of $39, and I'm giving away one half an hour reading, which is a value of $80. And... Um, well, I will announce the winner as soon as I get to 300 subscribers. I'm going to keep uh, I'm going to keep you posted on another contest that will be for 400 subscribers. So thank you for posting, sharing, uh, plus oneing, and all the, all that good stuff. So thanks a lot, and uh, I appreciate it. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands reversed. Um. <clears throat> The King of Wands reversed is, this guy, he really likes his control. See if you um, can note his throne, and it's very structured. And he's sitting there, and he's got his wand across his lap. And he's like, look, I have control of the lion and the lioness. They just come to me and obey. <laughs> and what this is asking us to do, since it's in reverse, it's about gaining control of your life as it is. Big shifts have been going on lately. I've been noticing a lot of stuff. My career as a tarot advisor is really launching and I'm getting very busy and uh, things are going my way but you have to stay in control and part of this is self-care, self-love, uh, taking care of yourself, and it's also about knowing where you're going, having that game plan, and putting your action steps together, and moving forward with the intention that you have control and the ability to do anything you want, and you really do. Now, in the middle of the week, <clears throat> the High Priestess in reverse. This comes to us saying that, yeah, we might not know all the answers. We might not know what the future holds. You can find out a little bit if you get a reading with me, but we might not have all of those things. The High Priestess promises to unroll her scroll there and let us in on all the details as soon as you get clear. See the light? The You have to... I want to say be a moth, right? Because the the uh, symbolism behind a moth in the, in the native animal um, totems, pardon me, in the native animal totems, a moth goes towards the light blindly and with faith and courage and does not cease. You know, moths will always, always go to the light even if they get burned. Keep on following your light. Keep on following your passion. And yeah, I know it's kind of shady right now. But if you keep on pursuing your dreams and stay in control, all will be uh, uh, given to you at the perfect time. Now, and then the chariot arrives for us, right? And when, and this is just a confirmation for what was going on uh, with the high priestess and the being in control of with the king of wands the chariot in reverse I literally translate that card to don't go barreling down the road without knowing where you're going see how these are all shady and gray and blue and kind of night and cast and even the king of wands he's at like dusk time so <clears throat> when we're going towards our life dream and our life purpose and how things are going for us we have to make a plan do it you know it's the most important thing you can do is sit down and write down exactly what you want 
<clears throat> and I know that when you start thinking about what you actually want, how do you want your life to be? How much income do you want? What kind of partner do you want? Where are you living? What's going on? These are questions that are so imperative. A lot of us find ourselves in places where we you know, how did I end up here? Well, it's because you didn't have a game plan. So make a game plan, follow it, do your action steps, m tiny little goals. You know, successful people always have goals. You got to write them down and you got to accomplish them. It doesn't matter how small it is. Even if it's just, I need to make a phone call today to this person, put it on your list, do it, and then check it off and you'll feel so much better. <clears throat> And ha ha ha, this is beautiful. And uh, this is the spiritual law of attraction. Now this is exactly what I was talking about. And I've been finding that people are a little confused lately with this uh, law of attraction business. And it's really, really simple once you start understanding that, yes, you have to dream it up. Yes, you want to have a game plan. You want to focus on your end result. The how you get it doesn't really matter, but you've got to put in a bit of the effort. So even if you make that phone call and then that person maybe doesn't respond the way you want to, that's okay. You put in the effort. The spiritual law of attraction will <clears throat> now say, hey, she's really working at it. She or he is really working at this. And now I'm going to send them somebody new somebody that will fulfill those dreams but you have to keep on working at it and everyone thinks the spiritual law of attraction you just dream it up and it pops in your lap well you know it kind of is like that but really the thing is is that you really want to be clear on your intentions and very very specific and uh, and I cannot get is get into that enough specific being specific because things will pop up the way you perceive them so this is also about you know certain people or situations and they come to you and they mirror your thoughts and emotions and beliefs so you know this is the thing, you know, if you're thinking negatively or that you won't get something, well, it's going to pop up. Okay, anyways, um, I think that's what I'm going to leave you with for this week. Just um, hold on to positive, loving, and abundant thoughts. And let's um, elevate our emotions and our our self-esteem and know that we are supported in our path in our journey this week has been our last week even it came up with like some self-doubt there's been self-doubt and self-esteem issues with them um, it's trending in my readings right now I call it trending in my readings because there is definitely trends in it I know it has to do with the astrology and where the planets are so the conflict and things within yourself they're bubbling up because it's normal you're sensitive to the earth and the way it's going. You're a little earth angel like me. You know, come on, let's just um, elevate yourself, do things that you love to do, take care and nurture yourself. All is well. I know it. And I guarantee you, you can have anything you like. It will come to you. Just keep positive and let's get that going. All right. Till next week, you guys. Don't forget to uh, share and like the Miso Tarot page. Um, you can uh, plus one on the Google page and uh, just share the cards. I've been keeping tabs of everybody that's been sharing and that's how you enter to win. Anyways, I will talk to you later and I hope you have a great week. Start thinking about what you really want your life to be in five years. Okay, have a great week. Much love to you. Bye.